thought they would be Tim's. Look at him, dude. He really does love me. Does it smell fishy? Yes, it does. It smells like success. Just wait until there's three limits in there. Just Stack put them on the eye. Don't pass it back through the bottom again. Sometimes uncinch. Like if you don't cinch the knot down good. That's what the knot I've always tied my whole life. But this one, once you cinch it down, it's, it it does just tag into the budget and cut it real short. All right, we gotta be quiet or else Brian's gonna yell at us. So we're out here. We're fishing for reds and trout. Whoa, Brian, is that you? Hey Eric, when you step on a ray, can you do it quietly? <clears throat> we'll throw it on right here in this water. Do you want to roll around in the mud? Yeah, we'll Let's go. Oh. You don't have a stringer? Uh -uh. Well, that's an issue. Hey, go get your stringer. I ain't going with that. Hmm. The person to catch one has to go. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to catch it, so you have to go get the stringer. What is he? Tiny red? It's first keeper, right? Has to go get the shrimp. Dude, he doesn't move. matter because I have to go back in. What are you doing? What's that? Trying to get a better grip on him. No, send him in close. Dang, go back. First fish, though. Dang, dude, I ripped him. I, I keep thinking he's catching one. Bye, buddy. All right, dude. First of the day. Let's go. Yes, sir. There's more out there, Greg. He's 15. We might need to get deeper. Dead gummy. Freaking swallowed my thing. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. You think he's 15? No. I don't think uh, he is. I don't think he's a lot bigger than that. Got to catch a limit anyway, so. Oh, that's gonna get one right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Greg. Sorry, Greg. It's all right, we're about to catch a limit. They're boiling out here like crazy. Are they? Yes.
This one might be 20. Huh? Get him. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. We got a keeper. Brett, that's a trout. Sure, keeper. That's a. That's gonna be a tasty one. Mm -hmm. I love their spots on them. Woohoo! They're killing the game. I love the 15 inches. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Now give me one of those worms. <laughs> you want one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? Lame. Dude, <laughs> I, that's another ditch. The guy at the bait shop told us a root beer color, so it's working. I grabbed this, he called it, it's called Cloud X, and he said uh does really well out here, so give Brian one. Thank you, buddy. We started wading across this flat, we've started getting into some fish. <laughs> You better save him. Oh, that's a hole. Red, good one. Hells, man. That is so cool. Beautiful. So we're going to start with um, filleting this speckled trout that we caught this morning. Um, I'm going to angle my knife, try to get as much of this back meat in as I can, hit the spine, and run my blade all the way down. It's tough so you get through the ribs. Once I get almost to the tail, I'm going to turn my fillet over. Keep it just off the skin. So now you have your fillet. To clean this fillet up, you want to take these rib bones out, and you'll have a nice piece of meat. So that's ribs, right? You only get one fillet per side? Yep, one fillet per side. And then turn it over, and go again. Y'all fixing to have to feed me. What's that? Fixing to have to eat something. I could die here shortly. There's another one in the dishwasher. Okay. No free attitude. Any whitetail? No, no whitetails. Oh, here we go. 
I lived on the coast for a while and learned from some of the old timers how to cook fish a little different than the way you do like freshwater stuff like you do catfish and crappie and all that kind of stuff. Trout, speckled trout, okay, this is not actually a trout, it's a, it's a type of croaker. Um, has a white, meaty, delicious flesh, but it doesn't freeze well. So you gotta cook it pretty much the day that you catch it if you want it to be ideal as far as flavor and texture goes. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry it up because fried fish is as good as it gets. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna turn them into nugs, and then we're gonna fry it in olive oil, which is a little untraditional, but olive oil is one of the healthiest oils you can use. And I'm gonna take a little bit of mayo and a little bit of Valentina to just use as a binder, give it a little extra flavor. I'm gonna put Tony's in here with some cornmeal breading. We're gonna whip this up. Mmm, it's gonna be good, guys. This is gonna be tasty. Sharp knife, don't you? Yeah, this is awesome. It's kind of an appetizer-esque type deal, you know? Oh, I'm gonna pad this stuff all dry real good. Get all the moisture we can off this stuff. Ugh. Whoa. Might be a little spicy, who knows? <laughs> it's alright, though. Might be a little much on the binder. Be all, right. all right, now we're gonna build a dredge. Save about half of it in case we do this again. Yep, it's a tasty thing in it. Those are crisping up already. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Hey, where are the paper plates? So you just flip them whenever you feel like one side's good? Yeah. But these thin ones are about to be ready. I bet. Probably doesn't take much. Mm hmm. Mm. We're probably going to put it on the pit. Okay. We're pretty much done here, fellas. A tasty treat, sir. You can taste the ocean, man. That's hard to beat. Mm. Bought mm. an onion, too. Oh, man. I like the flakiness of the trout, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good fish. It is very crappie like. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a um, neutral fish. Yeah, really good stuff. Can y'all catch more, please? We'll see. <laughs> I want many of those. I want to eat that every day. Every day. 